Hey Bradley's back at school. I'm um, back at work, so I have to go out to work today. It's not a job that I get paid for, it's a volunteer job. I work in a community house. Um, it's on a very, very bad estate, and there's a lot of crime there, drugs there, unemployed there. And what we do is, we help the kids, we do things for the kids that the parents don't do with them. We help with the drugs problems, alcohol problems, get the parents back onto courses to learn, get them on computer courses, college courses. Um, what we really do like, we're just trying to clean the community up. It's um, been quite bad for a number of years now, about eight, nine years, this estate, and uh, it's a beautiful estate as well. It was brand new about ten years ago, and it's just absolutely ruined by people. Um, it's just, it's just really bad with crime. So I go there and I just volunteer and help, and I'm doing courses myself, college courses on like social care and drug and abuse and alcohol and we also help the parents as well. We're trying to start up a group for the parents and single mums and they can come in and have a pampering session and just chill out and while we look after the kids and it's just, it's, good, it's a good thing really. It's one of my best friends. She um, started a community house up when she left job with absolutely no money. It's, well, she left a very good job, should I say, and started this up with no money. So it's really off funding and and lots of charities and everything, and it's an absolutely fantastic job what she's doing. So I, I love just going there and doing that, so it's going to be nice to be back. I mean, I've not been there for eight weeks with Bradley being off, so it's just going to be nice to be back. Yeah, I'm just walking to go and pick up Daniel from school, and I know for a fact he's going to say, where's the car, where's the car, Dad? And he'll probably be a bit TV because he absolutely hates walking, so what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to persuade him to um, call in a shop or whatever, you know, for some sweets, or go and get him some dinner on the way home, and then hopefully that'll stop him. And just, it's like I say, all you have to do with kids these days is just try and change the subject a little bit. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, I'm nearly there now. Who's it for? Mummy. Have you got mummy a flower? Yeah. Good boy. Daniel's got a little fly, he's crawling all over his, his hand. Stay still. It's a baby fly, isn't it? Get off! Get off! Blow it! Oh, it's stuck. This is the Green Cross Cord, man. You pressed it. Good boy, wait till you now. On my hand. There we go. All safe to cross. Hey, that's a good boy, isn't it? You're not getting over that way, will we not? Daniel always races home. Ugh, I can't keep up, I'm too old. I'm catching you. I'm catching you. I'm going to get to the door first. Oh, you always with me. You're too fast. It's Linda. My mum's just asked me to pick up a few bits to do with it. My dad a little party. She's got this in. He's just got his test results and they're all clear. So that's great news. Look at these baggies in here. Absolutely scrumptious. Yeah, just come back from Iceland now, you can see, what a bargain. Just over £20. Not bad, but there's only literally, there's about five of us, just literally quick nibble before my mum and dad go out for an evening meal, so um, he's got his results back, like I said, today, and everything's clear, and he's a good old age of 66. But Daniel, we've got one problem. Do you know how to cook? Do you know how to cook? Well that's good because I cannot use this oven. I'll tell you what, there's all these knobs and dials on here. And I'll tell you what, I don't know what half of these mean, so... I think I best wait till Mandy comes in. No, that's being lazy way. I do, I do know what I'm doing. But, um, what? I'm, I don't cook in my McDonald's.
McDonald's. The time going to open him at McDonald's. Okay, Daniel's going to keep him McDonald's. We bought some KFC this week. We'll have to get you one of those. Okay, so I'm just going to get all the stuff ready and all the, the plates and bits and pieces, and knives and forks and that, and then it's just case of just put these in the oven and tell you the food's the only warm up so it shouldn't set too long. Okay, see you later. You can see I'm quite a little chef. Excuse me. Got the stuff in the oven now, cooking away. Who asked? And my wife saying, excuse me. Who asked? Who's got everything in the oven? Me. Me, Muggins. As always. No, I tell you what, because my wife cleans so much, I'm not allowed to go near that oven because I tell you what, it will just be a disaster pit. But, um, no, she's good. She's just come in now about 20 minutes ago. Everything's in the Robert. oven. And my mum and dad should be here, hopefully, in the next. 15, 20 minutes, so we'll see you soon. I don't know if you can see that, everyone, but Mandy has just burnt me with an absolute red hot, hot glass dish. It is very, very sore now. I don't know if this is to get me back from all the pranks I've played. I hope not, but I don't know. What am I going to do with her? Serves you right for trying to pinch food that is still not finished being cooked. It serves him right. He's pinched the food and it's not ready. Well, I think my wife and the, I think we have a little bit of a disagreement because she actually came over and said, try one of these. And I tried one and then she burnt me with the dish. So, don't listen to what she says. Will you try that? See, and here's the dish, Luke. Will you try that? Don't burn yourself. Luke, I've already eaten half of it. Don't burn yourself. Oh, absolutely. Have they done? Fantastic. Oh, oh. Hey, do you want a bite? Taste some of that. Taste some of that. Do you taste that? Mmm. So good and yummy. Just a teaser. Have they cooked? Mmm. Yep, they're okay to me. Look. Have they cooked? Mmm. Yep, they're okay to me. Look. Yep, they're okay to me. Look. I don't want to burn myself. I'm going to push the tray over now. Look. I don't mind you, but... Get lost. Anyway. <laughs> the, the... Don't want to touch her then. She's scared of burning herself. <laughs> I tell you, women put men through so much pain. Don't you agree, fellas? I do cook! I do cook! It's not McDonald's every day! I do cook! When she feels like it. I'll catch you later. Her Mandy is a little bit of a fussy eater. She doesn't eat Chinese or Indian. But here, we've got some Indian onion barges. Now, Mandy has kindly said that she will try I an onion barge out. Not. No! No, not trying it. Because surely they're not as nasty as veggie mite sandwiches what I had at that Aussie family's house. And I think that if Mandy eats one of those, that this will crack her into hopefully eating Indian and Chinese and Thai food. What do you think, people? Comment below and hopefully we'll get her on the next video eating an onion badger. And I'll tell you what, I'll be so amazed if she does because honestly now, it will make my day because I really miss going out for an Indian. And I'd love my wife to come along with me, but she just won't, but she doesn't eat it. You won't. You won't. She's saying no, but let's see. Let's see. Comment below if she used to try an onion barge. Yeah, we've just stuck um, the happy birthday banner on the front door, so they'll be here hopefully any second now. Always on the last minute, we've just got it. Hello, you both. Happy birthday, Mr. Jones. I hear you all, all fitting well. Just listening to some of my dad's funny stories here, but you're missing him all, but... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, funny. Mandy's just lit the cake, so he's going to sing Happy Birthday. Which way are you going? Happy Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday.